Hello everyone, back during today's first video, we're going to have a look at the ECMWF 30 day ensemble model for today's first video for the UK and for Europe as well, via the Hungarian uh, Met Office. So we're going to um, see what the temperature and precipitation anomalies are forecast to be on a week by week basis for the next four weeks. It takes us into the start of November, so we're just going to be a uh, final month of the autumn of 2018 uh, with this update. Coming up later on today, we're going to have a, uh, have a detailed look at the weather for the next week to 10 days I'll bring you up to date with everything that's happening happening in the tropical Atlantic as well so that will be coming up uh, later on this afternoon but starting us off is our uh, weekly, it's a weekly feature now this, uh, our weekly look at the um, situation for the UK and for Europe as well in terms of the ECMWF 30 day ensemble. So we'll begin with week one temperature anomalies. Unfortunately with this we can't show you the uh, mean sea level pressure or 500 millibar height and only flow chart, but you can get a broad idea from the temperature and precipitation anomalies of what the model would be predicting in terms of a pattern that's bringing about these uh, temperature and precipitation anomalies. So week one uh, temperature anomalies are looking like this. It's taking us from the 8th through to the 14th of October. And it's a pretty warm week coming up across uh, many parts of Europe, actually. We see uh, widely, once again, uh, most parts of Europe are going above average. The UK and Ireland are going kind of like uh, 1 to 3 or 3 to 6 degrees above average. So a very warm week coming up, proper Indian summer. Uh, Scandinavia also going uh, much warmer. It's been pretty cold up there over the past few weeks with some very early snowfalls, but uh, things definitely warming up there across much of Scandinavia again, going up to around three to six degrees above average. Uh, and then many parts of Central Europe also coming out uh, much uh, warmer than average too. So France, Belgium, Holland, Germany, going eastwards of that in towards parts of of uh, Western Poland and also going down in towards countries like Hungary, we see. Uh, but again, uh, we are around three to six degrees above average. Southern parts of Europe aren't quite as warm. So Spain and Portugal is coming out very close to average. The central basin of the Mediterranean looks uh, nice and warm just there. So if you're going for, a, uh, going for an autumn holiday down to the May, temperatures should be okay. The far southeast of Europe, the Balkans, over the Adriatic, looks quite warm as well as Italy, but down in the far southeast of Europe, around Greece, it is a little bit cooler than average down there, but generally most parts of Europe are coming out warmer than average this week. Precipitation-wise, uh, we're looking like this. So actually, many parts of Europe are going to have a drier than average week. Uh, we see a big area of drier than average conditions, pretty much from uh, sort of uh, eastern France and Belgium and Holland eastwards over towards the uh, western Russian border uh, with uh, Europe. So obviously you've got a big ridge of high pressure sitting there across uh, many central parts of Europe in that sort of position and that's dragging up those winds from a southerly direction so that's the reason it's not only very warm in this week but also uh, pretty dry. Now it is more unsettled out in the west so much of the UK and Ireland coming out with above average rainfall in the week ahead from the 8th through to 14th of October substantially so for uh, sort of western parts of Scotland and down into both Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. Extreme southeast of England, he's saying southeast England is forecast to be a little bit drier than average, but overall things look like they're trending wet and average. Parts of Norway also coming out a bit wetter than average. And then we go down into western parts of France, around the Côte d'Azur on the Mediterranean. Uh, it looks pretty wet there. Presumably that would be from uh, heavy thunderstorms being generated over the Mediterranean Sea. Spain and Portugal also looking uh, a little bit unsettled, if anything. So the far west and down into the central base of Mediterranean looks more unsettled. But most parts of Europe are actually coming out with quite a dry week uh, this week. Week uh, two temperature anomalies looking like that. It takes us from the uh, 15th through to 21st of October. <coughs> Excuse me, and again we see another warmer than average week being predicted 
for many parts of Europe. So again, we've got this area across central parts of Europe, particularly Germany, over towards Poland, uh, Austria as well, coming out substantially warmer than average through uh, this week. We go northwards in towards Scandinavia, again, much warmer than average, three to six degrees above average, as it is over towards that uh, northeastern part of Europe and around uh, western parts of Russia. Much of uh, southern Europe also coming out uh, warmer than average in the week ahead. Out in the west, it's a little bit uh, cooler, so not quite as warm as it was in week one across the UK and Ireland, but even so, still generally a little bit warmer than average, around one to three degrees. Much of France coming out warmer than average. Spain and Portugal, though, a little bit cooler than average down there. And then precipitation-wise for week 2, 15th to 21st of uh, October. So many eastern parts of Europe, again, forecast to be drier than average. It looks like the ridge, if anything, is probably moving in towards the east and the southeast of Europe. So I imagine it be somewhere around there. Uh, means that the Balkans, again, looks uh, much drier than average. But most of these eastern parts of Europe are coming out drier. Uh, than average but in the west it looks wetter so for the UK and for Ireland wetter than average week here for uh, the third week of uh, October much of France is also coming out with above average uh, rainfall looks notably wet again around the Côte d'Azur in fact much of the Mediterranean is uh, wetter than average this week so autumnal thunderstorms breaking out uh, through the Med Spain and Portugal again quite close to average precipitation uh, there. Up across Scandinavia, so uh, some southern parts of Norway still look a little bit wet and average, but actually most parts of Europe coming, uh, most parts of Scandinavia coming out with uh, either average or driving average precipitation anomalies. Week 3 takes us from the 22nd through 28th of October. Signs of a change here with the warm being pushed into the uh, northeast and east of Europe. So really uh, from Scandinavia, uh, down to these eastern parts of Europe, all the way around here. It does look generally uh, quite warm over towards, or warmer than average, over towards the uh, Russian border. So eastern parts of Europe and Scandinavia uh, are forecast to be uh, warmer than average this week for the, uh, for the fourth week of October. But in the west, it looks cooler. So um, we've cooled down a lot across the UK and Ireland, gone below average with the temperature anomaly. <coughs> excuse me, again, and then France is also coming out uh, a little bit on the cooler than average side, Spain, Portugal, forecast to be a bit cooler than average, so definitely cooler in the west and warmer in the east uh, through this uh, sort of uh, final week of October, week three in the forecast period. And also more unsettled for many uh, central parts of Europe as well. So this is how the precipitation anomaly is looking. That drier than average area has actually been pushed out over towards Russia. Most parts of uh, Europe are forecast to have average precipitation. But it does look rather unsettled, particularly so. Bear in mind this is for week three, so uh, the strength of the signal is weakening. But, um, I mean, for Scandinavia, most parts are coming out with a little bit uh, above average precipitation around the UK. Ireland, France, Spain, uh, and then up towards um, Germany, the low countries. All those areas, it's either close to average or a little bit above average, which for week three is quite a strongish signal, actually, but it could be quite unsettled. So I think generally it looks like it's cooling down and turning unsettled from the Atlantic through that final week of October. And then we're into week four, which takes us from the 29th of October through to the 4th of November. So we go into November with this update. And uh, yes, again, we see that many eastern, northeastern parts of Europe, again from Scandinavia down this eastern side of Europe, having warmer than average uh, temperature anomalies. In the west, it's cooler anywhere from Germany, sort of westwards over towards the UK and Ireland. It's either average with the temperature or, in some respects, cooler than average. Cooler than average for southern parts of France, cooler than average for Spain and Portugal, cooler than average for Ireland, many northern parts of the UK as well. Only average in the south and southeast of the UK and the north of France and also Belgium, Holland and Germany. So definite cool down takes place there. In the second half of October, across many sort of western parts of Europe, compared to the earlier period, with the warmth being 
pushed into the east and uh, northeast of Europe precipitation wise. Again, it's a relatively weak signal. It's week four, so as always, the strength of the signal is weakening. But what we can say is that, again, it does look uh, rather unsettled in uh, the northwest, particularly. So, again, UK, Ireland, Scandinavia, a little bit wetter than, or a little bit above average with precipitation. Otherwise, most places are uh, sort of drier than average. It still looks rather, uh, most places are average, I should say. With precipitation. It's a bit uh, wet and average down across the Med. These eastern parts of Europe still possibly hinting at being just a little bit drier uh, there. But uh, overall, looks like uh, sort of the northwest is quite unsettled, the east is quite dry. Uh, the med is quite unsettled and elsewhere we're close to average in that uh, final week you appear the 29th of October through to the 4th of November. So a month of two halves really for particularly western parts of Europe uh, this October. The first half of, uh, of October is looking rather warm and dry. The second half I think is hinting at being quite unsettled and a lot cooler uh, as well as the warmth of the dry conditions are squeezed out towards the east. I think that's what it's hinting at uh, over the uh, next few weeks. So if you're in the west of Europe, make the most of the warm, dry conditions that we've got at the moment, because it looks like we've got changes uh, on the way. If you're in the east of Europe, well, it could well be that uh, above average temperature and driving average conditions are going to hold on uh, rather longer. Do it all over again next week. This is uh, highly experimental stuff. These models are prone to chopping and changing, so it could all look rather different uh, next week. Coming up later on today, we're going to have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days in detail uh, and bring you up to date what's happening in terms of tropical storms and hurricanes in the Atlantic. So come back for that this afternoon. Uh, but uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.